Hello, back again ladies and gentlemen. I forgot I had this, I forgot I had the kit, but I, forgot, I thought I did a, uh, a kit review on this. I got this just after Christmas, around about February time. I got a good deal on it. I only paid 32 quid for it off uh, off eBay, one of the sites, that I, uh, the shops that I use on eBay. And it's the new Border, I think it's their first ever kit. And it's the uh, Panzer KPF W4 Ausch G. And it's obviously 135 scale, so it's a uh, and it's a lovely box work. I love that. I love that. I love that box work on that artwork on it. It's superb. And you see, it's a it's a company called Border, which I've never used before. So it'll be an interesting build. But I've had a quick gander through it, and it looks a uh, decent, really decent kit. Uh, side box there. I think the cat wants to go out now. Go on then. There you go. Yeah, so the box work and there's is the same and a picture of the uh, a rendition of the uh, finished vehicle. And on the other side we have some colour call outs of different ones. North Korea was in there, Eastern what was that say? Uh, nineteen forty three Eastern North Kirsten of Korea, I can't bloody see. And nineteen forty three again, bloody Korea. Kursk, can't bloody see, and then two more on that side, which you have again, the Adolf Hitler division, and another one there, the first on the, on the eastern front again, and the kit number is BT001, so it would have been the first kit. So well, let's have a delve into see we've got into the box. Let me just adjust myself on here. So here we go. Take the box lid off. So it's quite full. Yeah, you know, it's a full box, heavy box as well. So we have basically what was the old dragon card, which we'll uh, we'll do that shortly. We'll just go through the plastic first, I think. We'll leave that till later and we'll go through the plastic. So the first screw we will come across. Are the resealable bags? They are indeed, so there's no need for the knife. Take note to me, resealable bags. So let's have a gander. And you can tell straight away that the actual quality is there. You've got the cast texture on the uh, on the top of the hull. No flash, lovely detail, nice crisp mouldings. There's the shield, one of the uh, things for the turret shield. Uh, the well, applique arm, whatever you want to call it. But as you can see from there, you can see the cast texture all over that. It's superb, the detail is really, really, really nice. And then the small parts again, these must be the uh, brackets for the uh, shirts and then the turret armour to go on. A few little bits and pieces, and there's a detail on the outside of one of the here. Uh, again, you can see that. You can see the detail on that. Really, really nice. Again, yeah, really nice quality. So I'll pop that back in the box for now. And the next screw. Okay, and this looks like most of the running gear. Let's find out where it's sealed. There we go. He says. There we go. Stuck itself back down. Hmm. So we have Lincoln length track. Not everybody's cup of tea. I don't mind. The two screws the same. It's got more the border models 2019 BT00 on their first kit. Excellent. No injection marks or anything. It's two. So there's two. Maybe three on the long lens, but none that I can see on the individual links, but they should be easy to get out. The detail is quite nice and the top track has got a built-in uh, sag. So you have to look carefully, there they are, that's the two there. So there's not many, there's a couple everywhere, but 
that should be easy to get out even if fill and file them there's only a few lots of there's the individual tracks with uh, hollow guide horns really really nice and there's no injection marks on those which is a bonus and then we have the reverse of it so the nice detail on the tracks themselves really nice individual ones and then we start off with the sprocket there again lovely detail and on the rear as well and then we have the wheels which is nicely detailed really nice and there's the transmission for the thing final drive really nicely detailed some of the little bits and pieces there's the return rollers a little bit again so there's two screws like that nice so let's have not much work on the tracks to do because most of it's done for you but we have here the sponsons yeah all individual like this is what I like to see mini art as well we get them into their uh, individually wrapped and we have the checkerboard effect all the way along and I have to say it's probably one of the nicest checkerboard effects I've ever seen and did focus, come on focus 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 there we go and that runs the full length and as you can see it's really nicely moulded crisp really really nice that and even Underneath is the same. The detail is underneath. It's unbelievable again. So here's my beloved little girl back in from work. Well, one of them. I can't believe that's underneath as well. <laughs> Never seen that before. So that's another plus. That's another plus. So open up another bag, and we have some more running gear and tracks. I think it builds two versions, I think. So we'll soon see. So there's two more there's two more uh, screws here with wheels. Uh, I think these are just the wheels and some it says something about the T34 tracks as well, which are lures. I don't know what it means about the T34 tracks. You know the wafer things, whatever you call them, riddles. I don't know why. It says something about them after reading to that. And there's the return wheel. Detail is nice. Again, there's the reverse of the wheels again, there's the other parts. Obviously the be will have uh, things to fit into there. We actually have a bucket, a traditional German bucket. There we go. On there. Uh, looks like the engine exhausts. Uh, Parts, I would have thought, not 100% sure. Uh, we have jerry cans, some other little bits and pieces, but you see the small, even the, there's the headlight, there's the blackout light, and so here we have T34 tracks. It did say something on the box about T34 tracks, I'll have to look into it, I think, see what it means about that. But they can see all the, the minute detail is flash free and nicely molded. And like I say, I can't see any injection, any stupid injection marks on there. Anywhere there shouldn't be. And there we have the nice part of the. Uh, where we are. Oh yeah. There we are. There we are. The bogies, that's the one side. And on the other side, we can see the leaf springs. And then we have the uh, for the torque for the torque here, which is hollowed out again. Which is nice. I like that when you can do that. So that's a nice. They're nice as well. So it's, a, it's a bonus having the bucket. Now then, they aren't the same roof as a. Oh yes, they are. There's two buckets. I was just looking the wrong way around. Oh, a nice touch with the bucket. So I think I've only had one kit with the bucket, and that was the uh, the Meng Panther here. Right, so we have another screw here, a single screw this time, and we have small parts, we have a lot of small parts, 
There's, there's the exhausts. Just a second, I'll just tell these lot to be quiet. Bloody noisy family. Noisy family. So here's a little bit of Pioneer tools there. Spade. The exhaust. Way again, she doesn't understand being quiet, my daughter. So nicely detailed again. Really, really nice. I just presume they're the track cleaning rods. Sorry, tra uh, gun cleaning rods. Track cleaning rods. And again, all nicely detailed again, no flash. There's the uh, wire cutters, bolt cutters, spanner. Yeah, that's the uh, nice detail again on the uh, fire extinguisher. Bolt cutters, the axe. Some more bogies by the looks for the bogies. Tanker bar. Shouldn't be too bad, I think it's a tanker bar. We'll find out when we get to it. And there again, all nicely moulded. No problems. Really nice. It doesn't look like it's going to be a, a, a uh, an in-depth build, but what's there is really nice. It'd be, it'd be interesting to see when, it's, you know, when I do get round to it. It should be sooner than later, I think. But I've never built a Panzer IV before. So, we have a cupola, um, just a slide moulded, but we have a one-piece barrel, which is nice. Uh, we have hatches. Bit of internal for the gun breech, yeah. Commander's cupola and the bottom of the turret. So there we go. There's the bottom of the turret. If you look onto the side parts there, that's got a slight cast texture as well. And then we have the cupola. Commander's cupola. There's actually glass pieces for these, which is really really nice. That's really nice. There's the uh, one of the hatches for the front, and there's the. Uh, single piece barrel so we've got one two three four points and maybe a small seam line yeah there's a small seam line to get out but that shouldn't be a problem I so say this part here is uh, internal so you want to need to clean the side off there there's a bit of the breech and some hatches got a bit of internal, internal detail on the hatches that's the internal and there's the front again all nicely detailed there's a part of the barrel as well, which is uh, the, the muzzle, which is slide moulded. Well, it looks like one piece anyhow, slide moulded, apart from the cap, obviously, which is there. And that's about it. So, and more of the gun, the gun mantlet and gun there. So it's all really nice. It's really, really nice. I must admit, I, it's, uh, I'm quite impressed with this kit. So I did have a quick look through, but not, not in depth like this. Um, last of the large sprues, and we have two sprues in the back. We have the bustle for the back, the uh, you know, storage bin at the back of the turret, uh, part of the uh, machine gun, I would think, on the ring for the commander's cupola, uh, some extra armour with bolted on, bolted on armour, some other little bits and pieces again. And the detail again is really, really nice. So even on the side of the, can we see that? Even the bolts along the top of the uh, storage bin, turret bin, whatever you want to call it. That's really, really nice. So that was one part of the sprue. So then we have two guns in this kit. So obviously one's for one version, one for the other. Again, everything is nice, really, really nicely detailed. Again, another bolt cutter, some more pry bars and hatches, and and there's the jack box, some S clamps or S hooks, and we have a bit of internal by the looks of that. Is that the internal? That's the external, sorry, for the front. And there's some of the engine backs again. Got the cast texture on there again, which is really, really nice. And there's the other barrel. 
again not slide mouldy but single piece some more track cleaners, gun cleaning rods some more hatches another spade a bit more uh, pioneer tools and there again really nice in detail again on these so even on the you know the panels Got that nice hinge on that's really nice again you can see the slight texture on there as well which is nice like a rolled steel really nice there you go. I do like that little uh, I've moulded that, that little hatch with the clamp on there that's really really nice so that's the end of the plastic apart from the uh, the lower hole on the turret which I'm going to get out now which I've got to see what I've had a quick gander at so obviously why it's easy to get out and there's the uh, the turret again really nice lots to add to it nicely moulded no injection marks apart from underneath yeah border model 2019 there we are again really nice I see I've never built a Panzer IV so this will be me uh, my first one built a Stug IV but no Panzer IV and that was the old to me it's Panzer IV as well so a lot of hatch space in that and things so it will be quite nice to build looking forward to that and this is uh, quite a uh, unusual way to do the the turret, uh, sorry, the, uh, the hull, the detail again is superb. Look at the detail on the river, on the on the bottom of that. A few injection marks there, but you know, bother about that. Um, and there again, look at the sides. Nice detail again, and this is actually moulded on part of the uh, armour. Look at it that way. Really, really nicely done that. Obviously, not much of the ends apart from where you put the uh, shackles. And that's part of those, obviously, for the, uh, the grills, for the engine. But very impressed with that. Very, very impressed with that. And again, it's just superb. You know, crisp, no flash, nothing at all. Really, really nice. Uh, by looking at that I would recommend it but say I got it at £32 I've seen people want more, a lot more for it but right so let's have a look it's not like a dragon card it's just where all the instructions are kept and the uh, there's quite a bit of photo work I believe so we'll, we'll pull everything out of the bag carefully now I didn't realise this until I've just seen it now I didn't know that until I've just seen it metal barrel which I didn't realise has been hiding away so we do have a metal barrel so that's a good start isn't it um, we have a bit of P so it looks like handles and clamps for the pioneer tools again nice nicely done I think it's done by border it looks like it I think can't quite make it out but still nice and then we have the Shirtsons which are all so there's quite a bit of PE we have uh, more PE again nice and thin it's got that double coated plastic on so we can take one side off and uh, leave the other side on so when we cut them out they don't ping off anywhere there again we nice again and then we have the uh, photo wedge for the Shirtsons which is nice again nice and thin the holes and things already in it so how about the glare there we go so there's plenty plenty to work with so obviously there's two of those I didn't realize that uh, it was quite a nice surprise seeing the metal barrel I didn't realize that was in it until now so I'll just pop that there for now and then we have I think these are smoke ch smoke grenades. I'm not too sure, but look like it. Got turned smoke grenades there. Six of them. So I'm not too sure. We'll find out more when we look into the uh, instructions. 
And then we have the decals, which I'll open because it's a resealable bag. Again, that's a really nice touch, you know, with the, the thing along the top, so you can reseal it. Let's have a look at the decals. It doesn't say who's made them. A bit shiny, but not a lot of carrier film at all. But there again, they're quite nice. I like they're in register, we've got all sorts on there, different variations, a lot of white ones on there. You can see the carrier film on around the numbers when you get in a certain light. But not any less, so not any more than uh, a Dragon or anybody else. So they're a nice touch, I'll be using those, even though I do have the stencils for certain things. And then we have the copper wire for the cable again, which is nice, a nice touch again. It's nice and flexible and you, know, you can mould it to shape. And then we have a lovely, lovely instruction manual. It's a gloss paper on the front, with a picture of the uh, kit on the front again, and then some of the sprue maps and everything we have. So, yeah, metal barrel and six of those metal, what I think are smoke uh, things. Can I see really make out with the, sh with the uh, skirt on the, on the um, turret? Right, so let's have a look. So we have a bit of information on the first page, we have a bit of information in English and one presumes Japanese or Chinese. A few nice pictures. I wish more companies would do this. And then we start off as normal with the uh, the bucket is the first thing we put together. Let me see, we can't quite see that can we? I'll just turn this light to here now, so maybe a bit better. So we have the bucket, the wheels and this T34 track, I don't know what that's all about, I'm going to look into it. And the jerry cans together and then we start to put some of the stuff onto the lower of the hull for the engine. And they're all P parts for the grill, which is nice, gives you a nice picture as well of what it's supposed to look like in the end. And then we get again some more lower hull stuff. Still working on the lower hull again. Starting to put um, cleaning rods. Jack box, I hope you probably won't put all these on at the same time. I used to keep things off and keep them separate. Tells you to drill a couple of holes at the front. And they're carrying on again with lower hull part of the uh, what looks like yeah, the suspension springs for the um, suppressors or whatever they are for the uh, bogies. So that's nice. And the next again. Just general build again, there's not, nothing too intrusive or anything like that, or anything too difficult, and it's clearly marked. And then we're starting off with the final drive, and we're starting off building the uh, eight times for the return rollers, and then we start to build the bogies, which I won't be doing at that time. I usually spray on my wheels first and work from that way, and I won't attach the wheels obviously. And then we're starting off with the uh, part of the you know, front part of the uh, so it's the rear with the muffler and part of the what these parts are not too sure and then we're starting to build the uh, return wheel and the uh, sprocket which will make but obviously won't put on at that point so it's a fairly straightforward build at the moment which is nice not too difficult it's nicely laid out that's a bit different and then we're starting again with the rear again, it's telling you to put the tow cable on the back there, you can see you're all curled up. Probably won't do that at that point. And then we're making the jack, I'll do all these individual things, but I won't put them onto the uh, the, the, the uh, book guards and the shirts and to start with. I'll keep all them separate, obviously there's the, for the clamps I thought they were for the uh, Pioneer tools. It's just nice, and then we have this, this strange... Looks different, completely different to the rest of the uh, you know, dark that is. Obviously it's just explaining where the uh, sponsons go into the tank. There again, nicely detailed there. Again, I may not put these on yet if I'm going to do the tracks. And then we start on the front track, the spare track there, so that goes on the front as well. Yes, different again. Some of these parts are uh, slightly different than usual. And there again, we're building the hatches. Sorry, more uh, 
actual work at the back, uh, more spare track. Then we've got this dark part again, which is not un it's unusual to see everything darker and then lighter again. But obviously, we've got a sub build there, and the here we are. Uh, for the tracks, the T34 tracks, I don't, I'm not too sure why. F1, F2, track 34. Are they optional? I don't say, I'll have to, I'll have to check. It doesn't say they're optional. And there again, then we're starting on the top of the hull with the uh, hatches. You can have them, well, it looks like closed at the moment. I mean, presume you can have them open. A few grab handles, and then we're positioning the, uh, the upper hull down to the lower hull. And then we can start the turret one, we we'll presume. I don't know, it's the tracks at that point. So we'll have a look what it says about the tracks. Well, I'm quite impressed with this uh, layout, I really am. Yeah, that's interesting. And we've got little bolts as well, which I do have some men bolts, but we have some of the sprues to go around certain parts. Can you see that part there? Taking the bolts off and putting them on the uh, looks like lower hull. And obviously, we have all the uh, tracks to go on, which I won't be doing at that time. I'll do it later on. I probably will, but I probably will do them actually and take them off. Um, do the top half, leave the, don't glue them together, just leave the top half and the bottom half separate. And then we're starting off with, with the, uh, sides, the sides for the uh, shirt sins to go on to. On both sides, there's one side, there's the other. Right here, that can we do way out of shot. There we go. There's one side, and then the other side again on the top, and then we're starting to uh, apply the uh, Shirts move. Some of the shirts are on certain uh, types and some are on the other one, so I don't know yet what I'm going to do. And then we're starting to build the turret. It looks fairly straightforward. Again, we are putting the brackets on there for the shirts and for the going round of the turret. And again, there's a the storage bin. And then, yeah, the air smoke, uh, smoke grenades or launchers. And we have three, three in each set, so it's six, yeah. And then we have some hatches. Undecided what I'm going to do when I do build this here because I've got some resin figures of them sitting in a, a, a Panzer IV, but their head is sort of picking out the poking out the, um, the hatches, and then we start to build the commander's cupola. Again, we have all the. I thought there was I thought there was glass in there, but there isn't, is there? Looks like there was glass parts. Ah, I see. So I'll paint those like the glass, I suppose. Yeah, and the hatches again. More hatches, and then we're starting off with the gun barrel. Which you've obviously, you've got the two set, the two different types, and there's the, uh, the muzzle. So it's a slide molding muzzle with two parts that go on the end, so you know there's not much clean up there. Bit of the internal stuff again. So we have two different uh, A and B and AA for the for different muzzles for different uh, barrels. Again, some will have to look into near the time when I build this. And carrying on with the uh, uh, again putting the uh, uh, the muzzle on each of the barrel on there. There's some more sub thing work again for the internal stuff for the barrel, and then we start on the uh, mantlet and things like that. Positioning the gun through the mantlet into the uh, the breeches, and then we put some of the shirts and around the outside of the uh, the vehicle, or the turret. And then once that's that, the turret is complete, and we put the turret onto the lower hole. And I think that should be the build finished. Yep, that's the last step, obviously. And it's nice that these companies now are starting to do uh, these colour callouts. Another MIG paints, but really nice. That's really nice. You got uh, yeah, Third Panzer Division, Eastern Front, 1943. Got an unknown unit. So they're without shirts and on the on the uh, on the tanks, and these ones have. I have to work out which is which. And we have the first SS Le Leipenstrander Adolf Hitler, Krakow 1943, and an Eastern European unit unknown again. Some nice camouflage. I might do something like that. Really quite nice camouflage. That uh, there's more to come. There's more to come with these. And then we have one without shirts and one with. We have the 
7th Panzer Regiment, 10th Panzer Division, Dak Tunisia 1943. So we have the desert one. And then we have the first Leipzig stand, I can never do this, Leipzig stand at Adolf Hitler, Krakow 1943. So it looks like a snow camouflage on that one. And you see we're getting the both views, each side, a rear and front, which is nice. And there's still more to come. And then we have, doesn't say, oh yeah, Panzer Regiment, uh, Panzer Kampf, no, Panzer Regiment 35, 4th Panzer Division, number 420, summer 1943, Eastern Front, North Kursk. And then we have uh, an unknown unit again. So we have, again, we have ones with shirts and then one without. Obviously, they're all at the uh, church and around the barrel, around the turret. But there's some nice, unusual camouflage patterns I would like to try. But I will be putting the shirts on because I think I'll be doing the one with the shirts on, I think, on them. Is there any more? He says. There is indeed. Christ, <laughs> we've got quite a selection. And then we have the Panzer Regiment Hermann Goering, Division number 432, Spring 1943 in Italy. And then another unknown uh, unknown unit. Again, really nice. Nicely laid out. Lovely camouflage. I quite fancy that uh, Herman Gearing actually. It's a bit unusual. Brown. We'll see when we get to it. I think that's the last page. Yep, that's the last of the camouflage. So we've got, I think it's six or eight units, uh, different units we can build. And the border model presents, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for choosing our first product. Thanks to our more transform for completing the colour profile for the Panzer IV. And uh, that's on the rear. So, for their first attempt, if it goes together as well as it looks, it'll be a winner, I think. And our little bird has told me that they're actually building the new, uh, their second kit is going to be the uh, new version of the Leopard. Leopard 2, Mark, whatever it is. It a2 or I don't know what it is but uh, that's coming out very very short so keep your eyes peeled for that uh, so I picked the same, I picked them for £32 I don't know what it is presently at the moment if you want to buy anything they're probably more expensive but where I get my kits from uh, a lot of them come from the same place in China and they're here within 10 days you know some of them are a bit later but most of the stuff that I get from China is here within 10 days uh, a lot of the lads use it's grocery Dawn grocery store on uh, on eBay and they've got all sorts of trumpets, uh, all the new brands and everything. And the competitive prices, you know, the cheap kits, but they're expen not expensive, but the, the kits aren't expensive. And the with the with the postage, it's, it's still cheaper than most people. In fact, it's cheaper than anybody actually by a good a good a good deal on them. So I'll put the link where I got it from if anybody's interested in buying this kit. And uh, I say thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to. Uh, to view this new product, so I was very, very impressed with Border. So I'll keep an eye out for them and keep an eye out for their new Leopard whenever that's released. Apparently, it's very, very shortly. So, thank you to all my subscribers, uh, new and old. I say I'm picking up a few more again, heading in that nice direction. I'm over 800 now, which is uh, can't believe that. So, things just sort of accumulate and just taking a it's run away with me slightly, slightly at the moment with things. So, I must be doing something right. So I think this is where we'll call it a day, so I'm starting to waffle. So mm. I'll say I've got the I've I've just done the first update of the um the M10, but obviously I've got to do a few more bits for release update one. So that's where I'm at. So this is Greg signing off and we'll catch you very very soon.